I want equal pay because it's like, why am I going to college? I'm getting A's and B's and this nigga got C's. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you this. Would you rather have a high profile job for no pay or clean sewers for $100,000 a year? I wouldn't clean sewers if it's more money. Okay. Do you think most women would choose to do that? Um, I don't know what, 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 what most women just talking about me. Those are the things that make you more of a feminine woman. You don't have to flaunt your independence. There are many categories of women out there today with different types of appellations describing who they are and justifying why they behave the way they behave. For example, modern women think men should treat them as equals. They want everything shared equally among men and women, except when they need protection. Independent women, on the other hand, want gender rules completely reversed. They want men to be stay-at-home dads while they earn and protect the family, a facade they can't pull for long. Educated women don't want to stay married. They want to divorce men and take their last dime in child support. Meanwhile, empowered women think being empowered means using their bodies for money. What about traditional women who are the cause of the recent rise in passport bros? There is one more left to complete the list, Sigma females. They are the wonder women of our time. They are rare, scarce, unique, and gifted beyond human comprehension. They are the only true feminine women left. Before we look at what makes them different and truly feminine, let's listen to this lecture by a real-life Sigma female on femininity and why feminine women attract only the top 1% of men. Women with a feminine core are expressive. They are vulnerable. They are receptive. It's in your expressions and your behaviors and the way you process things. Are you nurturing? The way that you nurture him, are you nurturing his leadership? Do you bring balance into his life? Those are the things that make you more of a feminine woman. You don't have to flaunt your independence. We understand that you have that, but we do share two you know, energies. We share masculine and feminine, but we, for men, for men who want feminine core women, men who are masculine core, they're going to naturally attract the feminine core. And they, when it comes to submission, it's not for control. Mm -hmm. It's just to see that you will trust me. You're vulnerable, you're vulnerable enough to trust me in my leadership. That's what men are saying when they ask for feminine women. It's not about the way we wear dresses and stuff. I used to be very masculine. I mean, heavily masculine. What does it mean to be feminine? Who is a feminine woman? And what does it take to be feminine? Because these different types of appellations have led to a divide between men and women. Men are running away from marriage and going their own way, while more and more women are becoming single mothers. Clearly just being a woman does not necessarily make you feminine. But if you like this video and watch to the end, you will learn what makes Sigma females feminine women. 1. They are nurturing. Feminine women are nurturing. How nurturing are you because it is instinctual for every woman, not only feminine, to be nurturing? Feminine women recognize this fundamental rule of every woman and take it to heart. 2. Feminine women are receptive. In nature, every living thing that is considered female is receptive. Receptiveness is deeply rooted in the female reproductive system. To be receptive also means to be accepting, to be submissive, to be vulnerable, and to be trusting. It is this aura of vulnerability that surrounds feminine women that makes men attracted to them because it gives men a reason to want to protect them, show them affection and provide for them. Being vulnerable doesn't mean you should become a damsel in distress. Being vulnerable means letting your guard down and believing in someone else's leadership qualities and ability to make decisions. 3. Feminine women bring balance. A feminine woman always cleans after her man. She knows her man like the back of her hand. When he is down, she provides him with comfort, good counsel, and lifts him up. When he is happy, she joins in and celebrates with him. His fight is her fight. His failure is her failure. She is expressive and always share her deepest thoughts with her man. 4. Feminine women are understanding. You will hardly hear a feminine woman complaining anyhow. By nature, they are observant, conscientious, and considerate. She always tries to make herself useful to her man's course. She is supportive and perseverant. If you are 20 years and above and watching and both of your parents are still married, it means your mom is a true feminine woman and you should emulate her and ask her to teach you about being a woman. If you enjoyed this video, then you will definitely enjoy the video on your screen. Leave us a comment on your thoughts about the video and if possible suggestions for our next video.